The study of decision making is a fundamental interdisciplinary study. Um, the, I think there are two ways to do science. One is to identify with a discipline or a subdiscipline and then try to get on the top. Uh, the other one is to identify with a problem and to try to solve it. And uh, then, since most problems, most interesting problems, do not respect the historically grown borders of the disciplines, uh, you need to turn interdisciplinary. And the Max Planck Society is a wonderful uh, platform for interdisciplinary research. In my own research group, I have people at the moment from 10 different disciplines, not just sub-disciplines. And these include uh, psychologists, mathematicians, computer science, evolutionary biologists, economists, philosophers, engineers, and others. The point is that we have a common thing. How do people make decisions in an uncertain world? Not in a world where everything is known. And how should they? And uh, by getting them together, mm, one can uh, make progress in a way that's very hard if you stay in your own subdiscipline. And that's a very important thing. How do you get a group together that is comes from various in uh, disciplinary backgrounds? Now, we set up an environment here that facilitates it. For instance, in my group, we have tea and coffee every day at 4 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And there is no obligation to come. This is why everyone comes. Hmm. I put this system in action many, many years ago. And it is like a, a none of the initial group is still here. Hmm. But the system is still here. It's like I'm evolving and always replicating a procedure. I don't even know exactly how it's been done, but it is done. And that's something that helps to create trust, that people get together, talk with one another. And this maybe half an hour or so is not a lost half an hour. It's where really progress and innovation can start. We have other things that we do together. We go to a retreat every year for three or four days. We have a castle in Bavaria, the Max Planck Society. That's a nice place to be. <laughs> and, and also, the, um, the one obligation in this group is that you don't work alone, that you work with others. You can work alone, but you at least have to do something with others. Otherwise, an interdisciplinary group would have no reason for existence. I know a number of groups who are by name interdisciplinary, but the participants publish in their own disciplinary journals, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Max Planck has a different philosophy. The philosophy is one of daring, taking risks, mm -hmm. and be on the forefront, and also the risk of failure. So uh, many of my postdocs and researchers, they may have two projects. One is the project that gets them safe into their career. Hmm. That's the more boring project. Hmm. This one's the risky one, where really new discoveries can come out. Hmm. And I mean, if someone is mediocre, then that person should go the safe way. That's ecologically rational. But if you are smart hmm, and excellent, then you should dare. Otherwise, just think about when you're 80 and look back at your life and you feel, I could have done something, but I never dared. That's the worst outcome. <laughs>